friends, welcome back. So today we are in full swing already. It is 8.30 in the morning and we have already been up and going like crazy. Grandma is coming in tonight. While she is here, we are gonna be crazy busy. We are going to celebrate Christmas. We are going to celebrate Teddy's birthday. It's gonna be crazy. So we are getting our house completely done, which means doing it all today. I have laundry, it's just the daily load, but laundry that needs done and put away, a whole house to clean, including underneath my couches, my kitchen cabinets, dusting, recycling taken out, the whole nine yards. Yesterday I went through all of our books, I swapped through all of our books, I put, I put them in buckets. So now I need to put the buckets away where they belong. I just swapped out Teddy's clothes because of course he grew again. So he is no longer in 12 months. And so I pulled all those out. I sorted through them to see what I could donate and what needed to be trashed because it was too yucky and stained. So I got all that sorted out, got his 18 months washed up and put away. That's all done. Now I'm browning up all the ground beef. One pound is for dinner and the other three pounds are for meals the rest of the month. I will freeze them according to their meals. So they're getting browned up right now. I still have chicken and I'm going to throw some chicken in to cook and then shred. And the rest I'm gonna freeze um, raw the way that it is and throw it into just little baggies so I can pull some out whenever I need it. So that's gonna be next. And as I'm working on that, the kids are getting things done. They already went through and like picked up all the little bits of trash so that we can vacuum. And what else? They took the recycling out. Now they're running around dusting. And you know, they're kids. So it's getting a little bit messier as they're going. So I'm kind of following behind and just picking up odds and ends. But that's what the kids are up to. And then um, Charlotte is downstairs working on a school project that she has to get done. So I guess join me today for just getting it all done. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you, I'm making new dinner stuff and an old favorite dessert, which is gonna be so awesome. So stick around and watch. We'll be cooking all throughout the day and are first with all of our cleaning today. So let's see, for dinner I have a stuffed pepper soup with a jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Both of those are new to us but sounded so good. So we're trying those. And then just dirt and worms for dessert, which I'm gonna make up and toss in the fridge as well, just so it's ready to go. So come along with me today, I hope you enjoy. All right, so I've got this whole bag. Okay, so I have this whole bag of teddy bear clothes in 12 month sizes that I'm gonna be donating. And so I went through all of this and the only thing I didn't put in here were his pants because he still has a, some sweatpants that are coming. And so I want him to have pants to wear even though they're kind of short on him. So I'll add the pants in and then I will do this. So if you are looking for a way to donate or a frugal opportunity for yourself even, check the Buy Nothing groups through Facebook in your area. I had never heard of this until just recently when I heard that my area has this. It's really awesome. So there's Buy Nothing groups on Facebook. It's You can actually read about it on the website. There is a whole movement towards this. It was started by some moms and I just think it's like the coolest thing. So you just list what you have to give for free. And I think some people will list what they're looking for as well. But honestly, this group has been a huge blessing to us because I was able to get a really nice single jogging stroller so that when I get back to running finally, when I get all healed up and get back to running, um, I can take Teddy with me and not really have to like take a regular stroller or try to leave him at home. Um, it's just gonna work so much better, but I managed to get one of those. And then in return, I have given a ton of baby things as Teddy has outgrown them or outused them and whatever that may be. I just list them on there and it goes to bless another mom or dad who needs it. So I guess I just wanted to put a plug out there in case you've never heard of a Buy Nothing group, you can actually check it out. Um, I don't know the link, I'll try to put it down below, but um, Buy Nothing, you can Google it, check it out on Facebook and see what you might have in your area. Okay, right here is everything that you are going to need for tonight's dinner. Some beef broth, some jasmine rice, peppers, of course it's stuffed pepper soup, some oregano, some basil, tomato sauce, and you can do diced or petite diced. I have some petite diced tomatoes already um, in my pantry there. 
So I've got that. Some pepper, you can put a little salt in if you want to, and some minced garlic as well, plus of course that pound of ground beef that's already in there. This is truly just a dump and go, so I'm going to dice up my peppers, and I'm gonna like kind of just go by how it looks. So the recipe itself calls for just the two peppers. I'm absolutely starting with three, and I might end up with more, but we'll see as we get going. So there's that, and I will show you. You just dump it all in there and go. If you want the actual recipe, you can check in the links below. Real large family life problems. This is one day's worth of laundry at my house. This is why I do a load every single day. And this is split up by person. And then, you know, there's like extras like towels and bibs and bath towels that needed just little bits washed here and there. So this is one day when your husband has to wear like two to three outfits a day for work and your kids have uniforms for school and then they come home and they get changed and everybody wears pajamas. So I'm telling you, Large family life problems here. Who else has a boatload of laundry for their family? Okay, well, I have gotten a lot done so far today, but I decided I deserve to take a quick break with some apple cider. Thanks to my helpers, I have gotten quite a bit of my list accomplished. The little kids went around and picked a lot up this morning. I think I checked in and told you about that. Then they went and cleaned up their room so it's ready to be vacuumed and they dusted it as best as they could, so that's great. 
and then Charlotte has cleaned her room and when I was putting the little kids down for a nap, she actually went and cleaned underneath all three couches for me and she has washed most of the bathroom. I just have to do the tub. So that is pretty awesome. I have gone and mopped most of my floors and I washed the walls in my dining room area around the table where they're always kind of messy from the kids touching them during meals. So that is done as well. And let's see, oh, I did clean my stainless steel appliances, which if you're wondering, I was using Norwex cloths. You wipe it with a wet EnviroCloth and get all the fingerprints and the yuckies off of it. And then a Norwex um, stainless steel cloth, that's what it is. And you just rub it right on there and oh, it just shines it right up and it takes all the streaks off and it lasts pretty long. Um, it holds up pretty well to fingerprints and all kinds of busy kitchen things. So I think I just, it's one of those days where you think you have your list set and then as you're working, 500 other things pop up. <laughs> so I got the big white table in the living room all cleared off and almost everything has been rehomed. I have a stack of papers that's like, you need to deal with this papers. <laughs> Do you guys have those? Um, I have a, a pile that just keeps piling up and it's stuff that like you have to deal with at some point. So it just kind of goes in that pile until eventually you deal with it all. So I think that might end up being today or tonight that I'm going to try and deal with that pile. But if not, it might relocate itself for a little bit longer. <laughs> um, I hate to say that, but it's probably true. It will possibly relocate itself because I still have lots of kitchen stuff to get to and it's already 3.30 in the afternoon. So that's done and I don't work tomorrow, which is a blessing um, because now with um, weather and things, we're not sure when my mother-in-law is going to get in or if she's going to make her connection flight on the way. We're hoping that she gets here on time, especially for her, because it's just a lot of traveling and who really wants to have delays and miss a flight and have all that stress. So we're hoping all that for her. And, you know, I am very, I'm a planner and organizer. I like my schedules. I like when things stay set. Um, I don't always not always as flexible as I'd like to be. <laughs> um, but my husband, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. So we balance each other out pretty well. We've always said that. Um, we are complete opposites. <laughs> so anyways, I guess I probably better get back to work. I would really like to make the chocolate pudding and have that set so that I can do the topping for the Dirt and Worms dessert tonight. And I need to actually make more of my cornbread mix in order to make the cornbread tonight, which is a new recipe. I've always done just straight up cornbread, but this is a jalapeno cheddar cornbread, so we'll see. I read it and said it was not too spicy, which surprised me because it's got the jalapenos, but maybe like the milk and the dairy from the cheese and stuff will balance that out. We're gonna see. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because most of us don't like spicy food at my house, but we're gonna see what happens. It says it's not very spicy, so it's pretty mild, they said, so here's hoping. Okay, here is what you need for the jalapeno cheddar cornbread. One jalapeno, which I'm still going to dice up. You um, seed it and dice it, so I'm gonna do that. Then you need a half a cup of cheese, one and a third cups of milk, and a double batch of cornbread mix, which I make my own, so I did a double batch of that. But if you use box mix, just get two boxes worth and put it in there. And then, so like I said, this is the first time we're trying this. So super excited to see how this works out. But this is, here you go. So here's your ingredients for the jalapeno cornbread mix. And we'll see how it goes.
put tonight in the books as a success. Dinner was a big hit with everybody in the family. They all loved it. We will definitely be having that again. It actually made enough that I'm going to freeze the leftovers and it will be lunch one day when not everybody's home, but most of us are home. And so we'll have it again then. So that was a huge success and my house is clean, dusted, wiped down, mopped, vacuumed, the whole nine yards. The house is clean, the dishes are done. I feel so good going to bed tonight with everything finished off of my list. It feels so good. And the kids are ready for school. Clothes are out, backpacks are packed, snacks are ready, um, water bottles are ready, masks are ready, everything's ready to go in the morning. So we are going to go to bed tonight. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna be part of this little community on this little corner of the internet, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Teddy is playing because it's bedtime. He's got my pots and pans out, because why not? I'm gonna pick him up and take him to bed now. So, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the comments. Bye!